Hey there YouTube, Michael Gallagher here, the Media Preacher, with an exciting unboxing video today. So, um, a few months ago I turned 40, and my mum and dad let, gave me some money to buy something nice for myself. And um, I didn't want to waste the money, and I wanted to buy something that I could keep, and something that I would have for many, many years. Originally I was going to buy a computer, but I thought, well, a computer probably has a five-year lifespan or thereabouts, and so didn't buy a computer in the end. I thought I could always get a computer, but it wouldn't have the same sentimental value that something that you could keep, and I think I wanted to buy an instrument. Um, and I wanted to buy a guitar, but I wasn't sure what type of guitar. Originally I was thinking a Telecaster. But I don't think in my heart of hearts I really wanted a Telecaster because I've already got a Stratocaster. And I didn't feel I'd use a Telecaster that much. So I didn't buy that. Um, and I started thinking to myself, well, a Gibson would be a nice guitar to buy. Um, and I looked at the prices of the Gibsons. I was really interested in the Gibson ES335, uh, which is a very similar guitar to the guitar that's played in Back to the Future. I think like Chuck Berry plays that guitar. B.B. King plays a similar guitar. Uh, you see the guitar all the time. It's a really famous guitar. It was made in the 50s, and they've been sort of producing it ever since. Um, but when I went online to see how much the 335 retails for, I was a bit shocked because it retails at almost £3,000 for a basic model. In looking at that, I then came across the Chinese copies of the Gibson guitars, which have you know, the Gibson headstock on them, and they look, to my eyes anyway, like a Gibson guitar, and I thought, wow, this, maybe this is the way to go, because they were like £200, so really, really reasonably priced. And I started doing my research in respect of that, and it quickly became apparent that actually the construction of those guitars is not great. The guitars don't use particularly good pickups. Uh, they're not set up very well. They can be hard to tune. They don't stay in tune. They have cheap headstocks and cheap tuners on them. And even though the guitars were only £200, I, 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 I was very tempted by what is commonly referred to as a chibson a Chinese Gibson guitar, um, but they're not authorised by Gibson. Anyway, in doing some more research online, I then came across this guitar that's arrived today from Anderton's Music. I actually watched their YouTube video on, the, on this guitar, where they put this guitar, this Epiphone guitar, up against the £3,000 335. And the £3,000 335 sounded marginally better. But when I say it sounded marginally better, I mean it only sounded marginally better. Um, I'm not at all convinced that it was, you know, £2,000 plus more money. Because this guitar retails at just over £300, as opposed to £3,000 that's the Gibson. So, looking at the reviews for the guitar, I couldn't find anyone that said a bad word about it. This uh, is the Epiphone Dot. Couldn't find anybody that said a bad word about the guitar, and so I started thinking maybe this is the guitar that I want to use my birthday money for. And I'd had the birthday money, it had been there, I wasn't rushing to spend it because I wanted to spend it on something that was going to last me quite a long time. And I think this guitar probably will last me for the rest of my days. So yesterday I called up Anderton's Music, I spoke to them, a guy called Sam Anderton's, very, very helpful. And um, he arranged within about 10 minutes for me to purchase the Epiphone Dot guitar. Next day delivery, free of charge, the delivery, and it's arrived in, its, uh, in this great big box. This huge thing here, look, that's huge. Um, and it's a really, really well packaged. And I've taken it out of that, and I have it here in its actual box. And I've got a little amp set up down here so I can have a test with it and see what it's like. But, Let's get it out of the box and see actually what we're looking at. So, uh, here's the guitar. Epiphone box. It says, performance is our passion, a part of the Gibson family of brands. So, it's not a Gibson's branded guitar, but Epiphone were bought by Gibson many years ago, and they are licensed effectively to make Gibson-type guitars. And from what I can see, the, the construction of these guitars is fantastic. So I'm really excited to get to see it and to play it. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> wow. 
It's well wrapped. I can't see it very well at the minute. We've got it in like a bag. So it's being birthed. <laughs> the other good thing about Andersons is as well, they set the guitar up. So the Epiphone guitars and the Gibson guitars, I think there are a couple of other brands they said they do. When the guitars come into the store, they make sure that the guitars are properly set up with the action and the, uh, and the fretboard and the frets. They make sure everything's right. So hopefully this guitar is going to be really nice right out of the box. So let me just put this on the floor. There's quite a few bits that come with this. Oh, God. There's a... Uh, what have I got here? An owner's manual. And a, a guarantee that this is made by Epiphone. So you, I'm, I'm guessing you don't get that with a Chibson. Got an Epiphone sticker. <laughs> And there's some sort of uh, manual or something. What's this? <clears throat> oh, it's a poster. Oh, it's a poster of all the Epiphone guitars. Fantastic. There's mine, the dot. It's in the middle. I got the red one as well, so it's kind of like Martin McFly from Back to the Future. Oh, that's fantastic. Cool. I could put that up in the man cave. Um, so that's nice. That's a nice touch. As I say, the problem, I think, with the Chibsons is that they, they look good in terms of the headstock and everything, but they're not manufactured particularly well. Whereas these are made in China, but are manufactured to a much, much higher standard because Gibson are overseeing the manufacture of these guitars. Right, okay, so let's get it out of the box. Whoa, here it is, being birthed. Whoa, it's heavy, it's quite heavy. <laughs> oh, oh, beautiful, look at this. Oh my God, wow. That, that, that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful guitar. I love it. Wow. Let's see if it's in tune. <clears throat> it's in tune. And it's a hollow body, it's a hollow bodied guitar. I love it, it's fantastic, my God. This is gonna serve me for many, many years. I've been playing the Stratocaster for a long time. And, um, oh, it feels great. That feels fantastic. That feels beautiful. That is fantastic. There's a... Okay, we've got, it comes with a, uh, one of them to do the, what's that, what are they called? If you want to set it up, but it's all set up, as I say, already. And on the, it said, attention. Val valuable and important accessories in the box. Do not discard. I'm guessing they're talking about the guitar. <laughs> um, that's look at this an absolute thing of beauty. It's th and this is what I'm talking about now with the um, Chibsons. Apparently, like the 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 nuts and the tuning pegs, are all cheap. Um, the pickups are cheap, but on these Epiphone guitars, there is no expense spared. The the tuning pegs are Grove, yeah, they're Grover tuning pegs, which are really, really good, high quality pegs. So you can feel they are, they feel really, really substantial. That's beautiful. Nice new strings, obviously. The pickups are designed by Epiphone in the USA. Um, they are double vacuum waxed enamel wire magnet pickups. I think they're humbuckers, aren't they? God. It's, it's just a thing of beauty. That's a piece of art. That is absolutely gorgeous. Well, let's hear how it sounds. Um, I've, got a, I've got a pick over here somewhere. That doesn't even need tuning. And I, was, I heard that some of the Chibsons as well, the Chibsons perhaps don't stay in tune or the necks aren't quite set up properly, so they're really difficult to tune at all. Whereas this, none of those issues should be present and they're not they're there that's brilliant that's beautiful that's it acoustically um as i say it's got a hollow body it's got a piece of wood down the middle then a hollow body and um apparently these guitars have got fantastic sustain when you've got some overdrive on them let's let's plug it in where does it plug in oh it plugs in here okay oh yeah neck pickup both pickups
Very nice. A bit more volume on it. Oh, that sounds beautiful. That is such a gorgeous guitar. Oh yeah, so listen to that. Oh yeah. That's the um so that's the, the neck pickup. Both. Oh my god, it's that. So much sharper sound. This is fantastic. I like that. I like that slightly meatier. How was that? Oh, so I seem to have two volumes here. One volume maybe for this and one for that. A little bit of uh, gain. Again on that. So does this sort of, so it seems to go from a really kind of like mellow jazzy sound to quite a hard, much harder rocker sound. I love it. It's very, very versatile. It feels great. So, in summary, this is the Gibson Dot. Um, my God, that sounds fantastic. The, the, so the pickups on this thing, the feel of the neck's beautiful. It's nice and thin, it's not too fat. Um, for 300 pounds, this is a hell of a lot of guitar for your money. And I think this is gonna last me a very, very long time. I can't wait to practice with it and play with it and get to know it a little bit better and get to know what all of these switches do. Because right now, frankly, I don't have a clue. I am literally unboxing it for the first time and looking at it. I need to buy a strap. I haven't got a strap for it yet. So thanks, Mum and Dad. Appreciate that. I'm really going to love this for a long, long time. And it's something that I'll have in many years to come. Just like I've got my first guitar that they bought me uh, that I did, I've done like a fix on. There's a fix video for that. I'll link to it in the description. And um, I also, of course, have my Fender Stratocaster that I got when I was 21. So that was my 21 guitar. This is my um, 40 guitar, I guess. And hopefully I'll have as many years of pleasure and playing with this as I've had with the Stratocaster. So right now I'm gonna get on, I'm gonna have a bit of a mess with it and see what sounds I can get out of it. And um, look forward to seeing you next time on another video. Take care. <clears throat>